Hi guys and girls, it's Mark here again, and today we're going to be learning The Cave by Mumford and & Sons, and we'll go straight to it at my fretboard. Quick demonstration of the tune, it goes like this. <laughs> So that's the intro and it uh, does that throughout all the verses um, and then we go into a, to a strumming pattern which I'll show you next. Um, so it starts off here with a slide, 4th fret on the 4th string and we slide up to the 6th fret and then straight back again, like so. I'm using my little finger here, you can use your third finger um, and we're going to use our first finger in a second so, so it's quite important that, that you use one of those two fingers. So then we do this, uh, second fret on the fourth string, and we use the pad of our first finger because we then want to roll onto the second fret of the fifth string. So all together it sounds, so you're rolling. So you aren't doing like that, really like this, like that. All right, practice that, try and get it down. And then, th then we form a C sharp minor chord which is with your little finger on the 4th fret 5th string, 2nd finger on the 2nd fret 4th string, and your 1st finger on the 1st fret on the 3rd string. And then we just run down the strings 5, 4, 3, back up to 4, then 5, 4, 3 again. Alright. Right, so. And then we move on to an E major chord. All right, now you'll probably know this one, but just in case you don't, it's first finger on the third string, first fret, second finger on the fifth string, second fret, and third finger on the fourth string, second fret. And we do the same strumming pattern, um, uh, picking pattern, but we only do it once. Okay, so all together. repeat so third time round and we change to this chord which is still an E chord but we've got a G sharp it's, it's called a first inversion just for those people that, that want to know some theory um, it's got a G sharp note here in the bass so we do little finger on the fourth fret G sharp note on the bottom string, second finger on the fourth string, second fret, and your first finger on the third string, first fret. Once, little finger comes off, we pick like that, six, four, six, four, and three, and then four again. And then we do six, then four, change to an E sus4 chord, that's 1st finger, 5th string, 2nd fret, underneath it, 2nd finger, 4th string, 2nd fret, then underneath that, 3rd string, 3rd finger, 2nd fret, and we just strum those 3 strings back to an E major chord, and strum those 3 strings, so we should get... Now moving on to the chorus, um, now what we've got here is a palm muted section and palm muting is where you put your palm, if I to move over so you can see, you put your palm by the bridge of the guitar and you put it just onto the strings so when you strum the strings you, you get a muting effect but we don't want it to go too far or else it mutes them out totally alright so, so you want about a centimetre's worth of palmy flesh on the string, so it just, just gradually mutes them, alright? So then, onto the chorus, we, we do these chords all with palm muting, 
So we start off with an E chord, all right? You can cheat on, on, on this a little bit. You can just play the bottom strings just like this with your first finger here on the uh, fifth string, second fret, and it kind of bars the fourth string, second fret at the same time. We just do four strums on that. And then we do an A5, which is like this. We do an open fourth, uh, sorry, open fifth string, second fret on the fourth string, second fret on the third string. Two strums on that. Back to the E. And then we do it again, all right? So one, two, three, four. Okay, so. And then two on A5, two on E5, and then we change to a B. First finger here on the fifth string, second fret. Third finger here on 4th fret and you bar strings 4, 3 and 2. It's a bit of a tricky chord but persevere, you've got to bend your finger back. Should be good fun for you, for you guys. 4 strums on this one. And th then we do a C sharp minor chord. 1st uh, finger on the 4th fret 5th string. 3rd finger on the 6th fret on the 4th string. Little finger on the 6th fret on the 3rd string. And 2nd finger on the 5th fret on the 2nd string. And then so that's two, uh, sorry, four on the B chord and four on C sharp minor chord. Okay, and then we should pretty much have the tune. So <clears throat> it's like this: E five, A five, E five, E five, A five, E five, A five, E five. B, two, three, four, C sharp minor, two, three, four, okay, and then we're back to A5, E5, and then we're C sharp minor again, A5, A5, E5, B, okay, now with all, all those chords, if that isn't completely clear, listen to the song, and then try and play along, and then you, you, you will hear the changes within the song. Okay, so that just about does it for that tune. Um, good tune, and I uh, hope you had fun learning that, and I will see you in the next video. Mark out for now.